Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. I'm also fine. Today I'm going to discuss with uh, Amazon Elastic 2023 and how do you install Apache PHP SSL certificates on the So, Amazon released a new Linux, Amazon Linux 2023. It is a bit different from the previous ones. It had been previously Amazon Linux 1, I think five or six years ago, then Amazon Linux 2, which is which has long term support. Recently, this launched Amazon Linux 2023, which is as their official declaration, it is it has five years support. So it's mostly uh, secure Linux and uh, you can use it for, for a long-term basis. The key, the key difference in Amazon Linux 2023 is that uh, previously, Amazon Linux 1, Amazon Linux 2, the both are based on CentOS. Amazon Linux 1 was CentOS 6, Amazon Linux 2 based on CentOS 7. Now Amazon Linux 3, it is not CentOS, it is on Fedora. That's the key difference. So um, that means we need to uh, reshuffle our commands and we need to just fine tune it how it works. So let's get started. So I'm going to launch a new instance here. And uh, well, while I'm going to create a new instance, you will see that by default, it's being selected as Amazon Linux 2023. So this is the default one selected. If anyone just tries to use this, you will get uh, used to this. Otherwise, you might choose from this drop down the ones that is like Amazon Linux 2, Amazon Linux, maybe one is not available anymore. So then Amazon Linux 2023, I'm just going to repeat the name, AL2023, Number in instance one, then I'm going to click D2 micro, that's okay. I'm just going to click uh, I'm allowing HTTP, HTTPS both. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an iron rail that is available here. Now, it looks uh, all good. Um, the Linux 23, uh, T2 micro, and uh, that's it. I'm going to launch the instance. It is creating the security group, it is launching the instance, and then uh, we are going to log in over there. It takes time around one or two minutes. So, meanwhile, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to uh, install Apache. I'm going to install PHP. I'm going to add uh, SSL certificate. That means I'm the virtual host. I, have, I will point one of my uh, subdomains into this instance, and then we'll check how to set up the SSL certificates and all those things. So um, that's the one. If I do uh, one more refresh, I will see that it's running. That's good. And um, so load, reloaded okay and then i'm going to click the connect button so uh using that connect button i have three or four options and there is instance connect session manager ssh client session function. i'm going to use the session manager because that is more secure and you don't need to use any pm file or anything else so that's that's pretty secure so uh that being said now it's been uh initiated so um, that's the one. I go for sudo su. So going for root. Then the next is pretty simple. Remember here, here we are using DNF, not yum. Previously we used to yum, but now it's DNF because it's better. So just keep in mind. Press enter. Everything is up to date. Now I'm going to install. HTTPD, that is Apache, PHP, PHP MySQL, ND, and that's it. You might need something else, but that's uh, based on your project basis. So this covers the basic things, but if you need something else like MB string, uh, XML, C, etc., you can do that. That's not a big deal. I'm just going to give you the basics. The additional ones, you can do it on your own. So it looks good. And uh, a couple of things to remember. It's by default installed PHP 8.1. I didn't mention any version. So it took the latest one, 8.1. Then uh, HTTPD 2.4, that's good. And also some other things like PHP 8.1 common, video. Um, so that's, that's all. 
I might need to install mod SSL, but I'm, I will check it. So, so sudo systems to start HTTP. I need to start the uh, server. Uh, clear up my screen. And then I'm going to check the status. It should show the building status. Looks good. And then I'm going to enable it because that's important. If you don't enable it, then you have to restart it every time your server reboots. So that's a big problem. Then I'm going to create a PHP info file or something. That is really, really, really interesting. So, uh, PHP, PHP info. Save it. Yes. Then, um, what we have to do, we need to get a virtual host, right? So, there is another article uh, where I have shown how to create a virtual host in HTTP. That's pretty simple. You just need to uh, create a rest of conf file. And then I'm going to uh, copy this and get an iPad and paste it here. So, a couple of things the one then, uh, it should be uh, al23 apache dot rtp dot xyz, right? Server alias, I don't know any server alias. www.html, that's the one. Okay, the HTML as well. So let's copy this and paste it. I restart the server. System CTL, restart HTTP. Now I'm going to test it. So I just grab the IP address, go to uh, Blackberry, where I can set the same records. So it should be AL23 Apache is the IP address and no proxy. So okay. Now let's go. AL23 Apache.xyz. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It should work. Yeah, it works. That means our Apache setup was done. That's good. So, next we need to set up SSL certificate. For SSL certificate, I'm going to use uh, Let's Encrypt, and that's uh, pretty basic. So uh, I have another article where it says how to install Let's Encrypt on Amazon Linux 2023. So what you have previously installed on Amazon Linux 2, that will not probably work here because it's Fedora. And the command that is given in uh, Sadbot EF, that is also doesn't work with Snap. So I found an alternative way that's via PIP, you can also install it. So these are the commands that is for the PIP. So I just copy this. Yeah. And then I am going to run this command. Just copy to Apple Patterns. I'm going to send it here. And then I'm going to create uh, or install the Sardbot. Sardbot. Here it's just the difference is that I'm going to install Sardbot with Apache, not Nginx. The example was given for Nginx, but I, I think we got the point right. We are running it for Apache, so just replace Nginx with Apache. Still, some people will say that uh, it's not working I uh, any this error, but just uh, listen to my uh, video that I have Replace this Nginx with Apache. That's the thing that you need to do. That's just different. Creating a symbolic link. And what's 
Oh. This is also like uh, not in Genex, but uh, even Apache. So just keep in mind. So, so this is something I think you should like, really understand. Why, 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 why. Okay, could not find mod SSL. I initially thought that mod SSL is installed, but it's not. So, but let's first click the email address. .xyz. Uh, I have to put yes, okay, okay, okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that is the one. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I need to install more SSL. So, uh, what I have to do is sudo dnf. Install mod uh is it the one mod SSL? I think so. Restart Apache system CTL restart HTTP. Let's see if now I can run it. This I will put Apache web service. So, uh, okay, that's good. Attempt to reinstall the origin certificate, renew or request. I want to do the attempt to reinstall. Okay, now it's okay. So, I just have to update my wiki to include that. So that being said, if I refresh it, it should show a uh, SSL certificate here. And this is it. So what have you done? We have installed, we have created a new Amazon in We have installed Apache, we have installed PHP, we have installed let's and tip using pip. And then we install mod SSL that was not initially installed it. That's I'm to double with the documentation. And then uh, we have uh, pointed our domain and created our system. So that being said, that's it for today. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. That will help me to create new videos for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.